What a day! What a day! Scotland's not always like this. As you can see, it's a perfect spot. How are we doing everyone? Hope you're well. Here we are out on another wild camp in Scotland. And it's living to its true form. Pouring the rain. In fact, this is just a bit of a calm spell. Took this time to take a minute. So yes, where am I? Roughly on a big map just southwest of Glasgow. Um, I'm going to be camping for a night up at a wee loch called Queenside. Um, this is a country park, Muirfield, uh, Muirshield, Muirshield Country Park. Never been here before, so this is hopefully the start of many. Um, today's weather is it's pretty dreary, to be honest. Um, I'm not going to see a lot. I was planning on getting up the tops of the hills but it's just not going to happen um, it's pretty misty and thick so we'll not bother but the plan is to get to the Queenside Loch and pitch the tent and take it from there so we'll see how we go and there's the first part of wildlife that's ravens kicking about here so hopefully there are many more Probably the worst weather I've had this year. But never mind, we're here, we're out, I'm warm. Kind of not been out for a while, it feels like I've not been out for a while. And I'm gutted that I haven't been. I've just been doing other things and my mind's not been on it, whatever. Um, but that doesn't stop me thinking about it. I think about wild camping every every day. So I've never been here before this area, this whole country park. I mean I parked just down the road there and to be honest, I'm in the middle of nowhere now. There's nothing here. Yes, there's a service track roads and things, but these are kind of like very rarely used. So kind of just needed to get away for a night and this is probably not far away from my doorstep <clears throat> and killed sort of two birds with one stone there so I've never been here it's not far away looks a nice little bit yes my plans are a bit set back because I was planning on climbing a couple of the hills um, 
but it is what it is. I'd rather take safety in and the mists come down over the top there, so there's no really much point. But anyway, here's where my view is. I don't know if you can see that. This is where I'm heading, away out there. Somewhere. I think I'm going up into the... I'm going to take a cut off into the side. I'm testing a couple of bits of kit. And one of them is this jacket. And it's a bear house. You can't ask for more. So here I am testing it and just off it. I mean it's not a it's not a thick jacket by any means. Um I'm warm because I've got another charity find underneath this, which I'll show you about later. Um but this jacket is it's phenomenal. I have a couple of bear house jackets and I've never well paid a living quid for the last one. But this one is, there you go, water. The water is not even going through. Um, so it's just basically a, a soft shell jacket. There's no lining, no fancy stuff. Pretty decent hood. Um, quite a high collar. Perfect. Yeah, I'm liking it. The tent today is my little mountain warehouse backpack or two. Some people love it, some people hate it. This is the one I had up the Papa Glen Co for a night. Woke up frozen solid outside. And it done a great turn. So I'm loving it. I, I do give it a thumbs up. Not a lot of room in it. But we're still all chasing that perfect tent, eh?
so. <laughs> Tense up. Still not happy with it 100%. The wind has completely died down, which is a big bonus. I've got a break in the sky to put it up. And um, it's still misty round about. Not happy with it, but I think with the way the day's going and the way the weather is, I don't really have much choice to keep looking, to be honest. So I'll get the kit in and at least I've got that little mound where I can cook on. Everything else is just heather and rushes, so pretty difficult to cook in, uh, cook in an area. So that's going to be a bit better quick. So, I'll get the kettle on, get my stuff in the, in the tent, get a cup of coffee or It's turned out not a bad little spot. You can tell with the water now that the, the wind's calmed down a bit. It's just, just nice. It's just nice to get a cup of tea as well, just to heat us up after that rain. Just a wee bit of a schoolboy error. Um, when I've come out, I've not actually put my rucksack cover over my rucksack, obviously, um, for the rain protection. And it soaked through into my kit. So my pillow, which is not major, but my pillow is wet and it's touched a little bit in my sleeping bag so I'm going to have to investigate to see if it's actually see how wet it is I don't think it's that bad, it's just surface but there's a bit of a schoolboy error that if you're ever going out if you haven't got one of these protectors it's probably always worth putting it in a, a plastic bag of some sort just to time it's happened to me and it's yeah it's just just a typical schoolboy era um but yes it could have been worse but we'll get this coffee drunk get the rest of the kit in um just in case and obviously time for something to eat as well So for tonight's menu, basically a couple of packets of noodles and we have the old trusty smoked sausage as well. I'm just going to make one big meal and that should do me um, for tonight. I've got other little bits of snacks as well so they'll do.
Here we go. <laughs> okay. Food spoiled. Pan's roasting. <laughs> Good to get a little bit of another bit more heat. Um, as I say, such a basic meal. Quick, simple, puts heat in your belly. And it's not a night for faffing about with cooking fancy meals or stuff like that. It's pretty miserable, it's damp, wet. My sleeping bag is a bit damp from getting soaked through the, the rucksack, so my my fault. Um, yes, it is what it is, but a couple of packets of noodles, smoked sausage, well, it's all good. Sometimes just simple food is just, it's just perfect. Um, yes, it's nice to eat all the fancy stuff when you bring it away. Um, but I didn't really come away to do this sort of stuff. I just needed a night away. So I'm just going to get fired into this while it's still hot and there's not much going on the night for sure so I'll report back to you in a wee while Fed and watered, washed everything up, and just this minute started to rain. So I've timed it right. I've done something right today. Had that good feed, which was actually just, just perfect for some weird reason. It was just nice to eat something that wasn't so fancy. This is probably one of the best times in wild camping. When you're done and dusted for the day, you're in the tent and you just listen to the rain. It takes you away from places where, you know, you don't want to go and just sidetracks you for a wee while. It's a great sound. And it's even better knowing that you're warm and cosy in here. Um, I'd probably say my boots are soaking. Soaked right through to my socks. And I did waterproof them before I came out. But I think with the amount of water and bog and everything that I've been going through, they've just saturated them. But I have a couple of extra pairs of socks, so we are, we are sorted. So as for my jacket, my Berghouse jacket, <coughs> It's just basically a soft shell top. Um, nothing inside it, no lining or anything. I would say it's okay. Um, it did have a little bit of dampness through onto my jumper here. Um, probably because of the severity of the rain. Um, plus, maybe it was just me with too much kit, too much clothing underneath that caused condensation inside it. Um, but I'd say it's actually a not bad jacket otherwise. Probably drizzle proof and things like that. This jumper was another charity shop find. It's snug fit. Um, and it kind of does for nights like this. So it's worth writing about a charity shop for some things. And this, t 
<laughs> this is the tent I got in a charity shop for six pounds and I've used it a couple of times on different um, camps and as I said before it's not everybody's cup of tea because sometimes it's if you're wanting room it's not got a great amount of room in it so if you're trying to get changed out of wet kit it's probably not ideal um, but it's quite sleek so I would find that it's very aerodynamic in a way it's going to buffer take the wind off you I just don't like the doors in it they're not really great for opening and, and staying open rolling, scrolling up but that's another story at the end of the day <clears throat> it's a little tent I like and it's pretty decent actually um, good for a first time camper if you're out there and you've never tried it before <laughs> You don't need much fancy kit. I think probably I will invest in as a good pair of waterproof socks. Let me try that. If anybody's got waterproof socks, what they like, send us a link to where you get them. I know there's loads of them anyway, but if you on the market. But if you have a specific pair you do like, send me a link share it with others um, also a big shout out to new subscribers so thanks very much for that, I appreciate it um, glad to have you on board feel free to comment on things that you've done in the past places that you like going and um, kit you use, it's always worth sharing it <clears throat> you can also check out the Instagram page Camper on the Wild Side Scotland and Facebook page, Camper on the Wild Side. Um, they're in the links below, so I'll, I'll do all that for you. Um, I don't really need to do a kit list, I don't think. I didn't bring anything really fancy. Um, but if you really think i seen that, you were using that, what is it? Please fire it away. <coughs> this is the Mountain Warehouse Extreme... So it's quite a thicker one than my other one. So I brought this out specifically for the autumn. So it's a good, it is a good sleeping bag. I'll put a link in that for this. But yes, um, if you're new to this page, hopefully things you can pick up on, um, take hints and tips away from. That's what it's all about, sharing. Um, I basically just go about Scotland, going into wild places, staying a couple of nights, seeing how it goes. The place I'm in just now, it's very misty and cloudy still up there. But I would guess on a very clear night, you're going to see some cracking stars because it feels like it's a dark spot. And it's still raining. <laughs> I've just had a look outside and it's, yeah, it's pretty miserable. So, on that note, I'm just going to maybe have a couple of oat cakes, packet nuts, and call it a night. See you in the morning. Good morning. Very thick mist. Rained all night. Um, and I probably had the worst sleep I've had for a long time. Um, I couldn't get comfy. 
um, the rain kept me awake. Um, I was warm enough. In fact, I was too hot, I took my jumper off. <laughs> no idea of the time. It's just a good thing when you're away camping, you don't really need time. Um, so we'll get up and get the first cup of tea of the day. Coffee of the day. First coffee of today. So, not a bad combination this morning. Bit of a bulk breakfast. Porridge. Raspberries and brambles. But I think the plan today was to go up, climb up one of the hills, and then go around and see a waterfall. Um, I, I think that's just not going to happen. And that's the way it works. Take the day as it comes, really, um, depending on the weather. my breakfast and then we'll see what's what then. Okay everyone, that's me taking the decision. I've just packed up, tents all the way, cleaned the area, just in time for the mist to come down. <laughs> so as you can see it's pretty thick. been enjoyable night even though it's not went to plan and I think that's what we have to be sort of kind of prepared for and conscious of in a kind of way that things don't always go to plan for example my wet sleeping bag just been put, not putting a cover on it just silly things wet boots that make you feel uncomfortable trousers that are damp it's all these things that are niggly and horrible to do, but to deal with. Um, this is pretty thick, but I know where I'm going. Uh, so yeah, it's actually quite a nice little spot. I think it'd be a lot better in the summertime. I think you could swim in that, no bother. Um, just not a lot of spaces to camp here. This is probably the only one I've found, to be honest. Um, what a great place to actually trek through this whole area. There's thousands of acres of moorland and farmland. So if it's a place you want to check out, please do. Um, <clears throat> it's Muir Shield Country Park. There is parking areas down there and then you can set out from wherever you want to go. Um, I just checked in with the ranger and they were quite happy with me parking the car there for a night probably longer if you needed to um, just check in with them and they're, they're fine so they know there's a car there put it in the windscreen as usual but um, yes this wasn't a, 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 a seriously thought out camp trip it was just kind of one of these ones where I just wanted to get away um, took a bit of a funny turn in the morning where I was going to go and then just for some reason my brain told me you're not going so it was one of these fighting a, fighting a, bit, of a, bit, of, a bit of a mental battle there um, it's what it is we're all going through various points in our life and I think once you're out it does help outside. I love the fresh air, I love the outdoors, I love wildlife, I love this. And so yeah, if you're struggling, um, you're not alone. There is plenty of people out there that are struggling too, so reach out. Um, if you have great methods of coping with it in the outdoors, please share. Um, if you're new to this video, 
thanks very much for dropping by. I um, appreciate it. It's not all sunny all the time, so <laughs> as you see the weather can change up here in Scotland at any time. Um, and I'm not even away up north, I'm just southwest of Glasgow area. In the middle of nowhere. So there we go. Um, thanks very much for watching. Um, if you'd like to subscribe, please do. If you'd like to share it, please do. Um, I'll put a link in below for various stuff. The Instagram page, the um, Facebook page, all that kind of stuff. If you want to connect and reach out, um, please do. I'd love to hear how you're getting on. Um, I watch so many people do various things and it's great to see how everybody else does things. So I'm one of these people that follow and watch everybody else's videos and, and um, see how they do things. So if, if I've helped you in any way, I'm glad to have done so. Even if it's one person, thanks very much. It's nice to know that something's happened right. Um, I'm just going to put my rucksack on and take a slow wander back to the road. But I shall leave you here. Thanks very much again for watching this video. Um, and I will see you on the next adventure. Stay safe and catch you next time. You know, I'm back down on the road or on this track, and as I said, the mist's actually clearing. What a cracking view! Cracking view. But to be saying that, there is still mist up in the top there, and I was up and over the back of the hills. And if it's inspired you to take up some wild camping, well, good stuff. <laughs> and I'm sorry if it's put you off. <laughs> but you might as well learn the hard way in reality. So, just like to say thank you again for watching and for stopping by. If you haven't subscribed well and you feel you, you would like to see more of these videos um, please do any of these hints and tips that I've, I've sort of suggested or the way I do things if it's helped you well that's a good thing but thank you very much for stopping by um, I shall see you on the next adventure Always the next adventure. Cheers for now.